Hello everyone, welcome back to part 12 for the series. In this part, I want to show you how to hide up the key behind the painting, and only when you discovered how to flip the painting, before you are able to find and locate the hidden key. Back to the Unity interface, we need a key model, so I am going to download these horror puzzle items pack from Unity Store. Let's grab the key model and use it to place at the back of the painting. Let's reset all the X, Y, and Z to be zero, and then move it to some corners area like this. Next is to build a prefab for this key. Let's create a prefab from the menu. Then it's time to add the box collider to the key. This will allow the box to be detected by the raycast and adjust the shape so that you can only spot it at the corner. Now let's add the script to the object and call it USB key. First of all, this object has to interact with the player so it must be I interactable. Just like before, add the item info which is the form of string named USB key. Then as usual return the item info. For the interact method, just debug log interact with the key for debugging. Now let's move to the painting script that was built in previous part. On above, let's create a new boolean called flip and equal to false by default. Anything interact with the key will toggle the flip boolean. Flip equals not flip. If flip is true, then we're gonna look for the USB key object. Here I use find object by type, and the type is USB key. This command will look for the object with this class. Since key object whether show or not is coupling with the flip boolean. It's just the same. So remove this if statement here. We also need to make sure this key is actually exist. If null, it won't crash the program. Up above, let's create a serialize field as the game object for the key. To avoid the mistake, I always recommend you to add start function here and switch off all the objects by code instead of doing this in the inspector. Because there are many occasions where you could forget to set something inactive in the inspector. Let's attach this to Unity and in the inspector interface, let's drag and drop the USB key prefab to the serialize field field in the inspector. And let's run the game. Now we flip the painting, here you see the key. Let's flip the painting back to original position. As you can see, if you don't flip it, you won't see the E symbol until you flip the painting. After you flip the painting again, yep, you see the key and the E symbol. So you're only able to locate the key until you figure out how to flip the painting. 